Oh, yes. Obviously. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Two Guys, One Controller, Zero Life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we are playing Xenoblade for the fifth time. Am I excited? Yeah. Yeah. I'm very, I'm very intrigued to see where the game goes. I also hate Juju very much. Yeah, this I'm episode, it back. Max is actually we're, we're... here. Uh, last episode, I did a solo session. It, it... Well, the viewers already know this because they either skipped the episode or they had to watch through an hour and 20 minutes of just me doing random shit. But I leveled up Shulk and Ryan up to 16 and Charla up to level 15. I Thank you, Dom. I'm very sad that I was not able to be there. I got busy. And you I didn't miss much. Okay, that's good. I was uh, worried that like I left you to do a bunch of dumb I you wanted know? to do it anyway. So I got Shulk a whole shit ton of agility. Holy shit. Oh, he's also got new armor, I see. Very yeah. nice. Ryan, some agility, strength up, and uh, I don't know why he has poison defense. Poison defense. <laughs> um, yes. He'll Not just take another agility, place. honestly. And That's Charlotte has idea. ether up and agility up. Also not a pretty good idea, you know? So I did a whole shit ton of side quests around here. I crafted some gems. I explored the Bionis knee a little bit. So in case people were wondering, like, hey, why don't you explore the Bionis knee? <laughs> well, I did. But you probably skipped that episode. So, ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I, it's still interesting to hear your thoughts. We're going back to the roots of the channel, you know? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> where where just I'm you. just randomly commentating uh, <laughs> shitty things because uh, fucking... I don't have anything to say. Oh boy, speaking of things to say, Dom, I have one question for you. How do you feel about Lego Mario? How do you feel about what that? What the hell is it? Like, I've seen only you one did... trailer of it. So, what I think it is, and it's like, there's like a Mario Lego piece, right? Yeah. It's, it has like a battery or some shit, and then you like play mario but with lego uh, am, am i opposed to it no would i buy it <laughs> no <laughs> i just i just think that some of the stuff is really funny like they made lego toad pretty sure that's fucking sick uh lego bowser kind of thick though okay that one like a solid nine also that castle lego set's actually kind of cool I mean, uh, honestly, other than the that, Lego I mean, Mario just... stuff is the least interested Mario thing I'm worried about right now, or thinking about. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> You're just uh... sitting there like, <laughs> if only you were like, if only you liked Legos, Dom. Out if here. I actually grew up with Legos, yeah, I had yeah. a whole shit ton, because, uh, you know, having the perks of having older siblings, you already get all their toys as basically hand-me-downs. That's how I grew up with you the N64. And, like, fucking, like, 60 games in a fucking bin. Like, Mario See, 64, Mario Party 3, Snowboard Kids. <laughs> I would say you're way more fortunate than I am. I am the oldest kid, so all my siblings are going to get all my stuff. And also, I, did, I do have, like, a Lego Voltron I got a couple years ago. And it's absolute fire. It's sitting on my desk right now. Yeah. It's a top 10 builds of all time. Right there, number one. Yeah. But yeah, it's a little weird that, like, I, I grew up with the Nintendo 64 too, and I, that's because uh, it was an old console that my dad used to play and I used to watch. Yeah. And I, I only had, like, five or six games with it. Bean. A few of them were not good. So I, I consider you very, very lucky you got to play, like, Majora's Mask. I didn't play, play Majora's Mask, uh, I just watched it from afar because the moon terrified the hell out of me as a kid. <laughs> uh, my brothers and sisters uh, played that game in front of me, and like, I saw the moon and I'm like, why the hell, why does the moon have a face? It's scary, what is it? What What is it doing? Why is it crashing why? into the earth? <laughs> why is the moon looking at me, brother? Majora's Mask why is kind of traumatizing for a four-year-old kid. <laughs> I just, I, I forgot how spooky the moon is, because I played it when I was, like, 16, so I was like, okay, this is, yeah, this is baby shit, like, ooh, it's a moon. I mean, if anything, I was stressed about the time, because, the, oh my god, the time of that, holy shit, you're killing it. Yeah, Oh my that's god. what a few levels can do. That's insane. 
Considering what happened last time, this is this is like a cakewalk. Yeah, I'm actually on par with the levels. So in this game, the leveling is kind of strict. Granted, it's a little bit difficult to fall behind level, except for a few instances. Um, like here, for example, what I'm assuming? Uh, yeah, this is one of the few instances where, like, uh, you kind of have to get a little bit of <laughs> leveling up. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can see that. Because oh, you immediately boy. get Sharla, and uh, she's, like, level <laughs> 13 when you get her, and you need to be level 15 for this fight. This fight seems really... It seems like a big spike from uh, most of the game. I don't know. It was only a couple levels, but you were getting stomped real hard. Yeah. Especially because, I don't know if this is in the recording or not, but you definitely, like, you tried a second time, and it was even worse than the first attempt. So it was like, oh boy. I also wasn't fully utilizing the new Monado art, because I didn't really get a chance to. What is the new Monado art? Uh, speed. Is it, the... it basically oh, raises right. your agility to the point where it basically forces uh, one miss on a like brutal attack. That's pretty sick. It's a good um, one. I mean, I'm fine with being aggroed because I have the most health, but like, come on. Ryan, can you take the bait? C can you, can no, you get him to do he shit? he will never topple. I don't, I don't think you understand. Ryan will never topple. That's <laughs> just part of the game. Oh, Ryan die. But Why he died? I can use speed to make that attack miss. <laughs> Why he die? Or uh, I can just have oh. it aggro me. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh. Uh, that was kind of not fun. That is. What a man. What a big boy. Oh, that, that, I, feel I guess we're cutting now. that part out. <laughs> yeah, same here. It's all, it's all good. I mean, <laughs> it's not like it's a super big boy. Alright, anyway, back to, back to game. Yeah. The record begin. Hit the man. Oh um, greatly restores HP of one party member. Uh, yeah, let's herself. do that to herself. <laughs> yes, I shall shoot me. <laughs> how, uh, okay, for real though, how how do you think, like, I know she shoots in the air and hits herself. How do you think that feels? Um, you know, just a Why isn't giant it like a persona syringe, thing? bullet syringe, just fucking injecting itself into you after falling. <laughs> I don't know. If it was a Persona 3 thing, it's like you put the gun to your head and you go pew. Well, yeah, but and they're the, not real the guns. Real bullet. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, like, it, it kind of makes sense, sort of. <laughs> what happens if you miss while shooting up in the air? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit. This seems like a big story beat. Oh, it's going up a level. It's like, uh, no, I'm out of here. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got my kid, Juju. <laughs> oh, no, his brother. It's not a kid. Well, I mean, Juju's I already dead at this point. I did, like, five in-game days Wait. of side questing. <laughs> That's true. Juju's mega dead. <laughs> we'll go save Juju after we, uh, after we do, you know, kill, like, ten of these fish guys, you know? Then we're good. Then we'll kill Juju. Then we'll save Juju. Oh. Oh, my God. Actual boss also, Juju's... Music. Okay, I need to it's get the aggro off Shulk ASAP. I really hate Juju. I think that... Juju himself is kind of a joke. Yeah. Just saying. Like, uh, what? Uh, he's here to die. I can tell he's here to die. Let's is he be, though? Let's be real. Oh, yes, no, yes I, he I is. I'm gonna seriously debate that Juju is here to die. Because <laughs> Charlotte needs a reason to be with the party. So they're like, they killed my brother! Well, I mean, Charlotte I already kind of has a reason to be in the party. That's I... true, like her like her boyfriend or husband or whatever. Yeah. Well, anyway, point is, if Juju dies, she has even more of a reason, you know? And also, Juju's, like, perfect death bait. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Where he's like, 
Oh, I am the kid brother. Oh, I... You are cowards. Here, let me go kill them. Oh, shit. <laughs> Buddy. It's fine. Um, I'll just... You're gonna uh... die to a super attack. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm applying speed to Shulk. G good. Uh, white attacks count as any color, so they can continue with chain. Oh, sweet. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, I have the hiccups now. Heck. Um, I... Try to do the thing. Well, I don't want to engage lock on. Uh, I, I guess I'll block enemy attacks. And Sharla, you can just, uh, heal Shulk. Heal. Yeah, just heal. I like how you can freeze time, though, before it happens, you know? Yeah. That's nice. I forgot that this is a mechon and that I need to enchant the other's weapons to actually let them do damage to it. <laughs> yeah, or else they're just kind of smacking it. Yeah. Oh shit, you live. So Man, I'll do that. Another thing we can talk. Oh shit. Oh no, wait. Did he fine. just cancel my chant? I how is not. everyone? How is everyone so fired up except for Shulk? Shulk's uh, the straight face goon, and the other two are like, "What are you doing?" Me to survive! <laughs> yeah. And they're like, I'm really feeling it! He's really not really that. feeling it. <laughs> uh, that whole sentence made me feel like Jerry Seinfeld, and I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, nice backslash. Really pulling out all your smash Nice, moves. I got max affinity out of that one. Oh yeah, max affinity. Isn't it really easy to get, like, max affinity with Ryan really early uh, on? Yeah, kind of. Like that. I heard about that somewhere. Oh, tentacle. Oh, oh. It's like shitty porn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was horrible. Who are you attacking? I think Charlotte. <laughs> oh, sweet. Get him. One damage. Ooh, nice job, Ryan. Really holding. Really holding them out here. I need to do a chain attack. You, you and need I need to enchant to Ryan's weapon. Topple on it. Can you get Ryan to, uh. Can you get Ryan to, like, enchant his weapon? Because he can't do shit right now. Uh, oh, wait, he no, can do damage when they're toppled. Yeah, you have to topple them. Uh, what should I do? That's cool. Uh. Just I would heal. Shulk. Actually, you don't really need to heal. Is there a buff that you could do? Uh, damage immunity to one party member. Yeah, I would probably do that to, like, Shulk. Or debuff immunity. Uh, yeah, let's do that to Shulk. It's probably a good idea. Oh, no, Sharla has to, uh... <laughs> the AI oh, no. Charla doesn't really thing. know how to do Sharla too well. I've heard. I've heard. I, it. it can do is... Sharla well for the most part, but it never manually uh, cools down. It always waits till it reaches its limit. Well, like you said before, Charla's like not not gonna be around very long, from what I've heard. <laughs> so she will still be around for a while. Oh well. Yeah, oh, never but mind. you know, she she'll get. You know, you'll find another party member. I don't really. I know that there's like a there's one of those like small orange dudes, uh, like named Tiki or Riki or something. Oh, Ricky. I know he's in the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's the best. He he, he's the comedic he's relief. The best healer. <laughs> oh, Sharla. Well, <laughs> good thing that we're gonna replace Sharla with the Riki. Oh, this is kind of epic, though. Yeah. Although this <laughs> boss is a little bit of a damage sponge right now. I was gonna say, there's not much to commentate just because it's you hitting the boss a hundred million times. And like, it's not like we can uh, just casually talk because this is kind of a story beat. It really is. Actually, I could ask you right now, uh, you saw the Paper Mario thing that uh, Nintendo put out, right? Uh, I was gonna say, like, that, but like, I don't know if that was the perfect time to do it, but yeah, okay, let's talk okay. about it. We can, we can talk about that in a second. We can always talk about the PS5, too. And, uh, you know, how they re-released GTA V again. <laughs> how old is that game? Uh, like, honestly, 
I'm I'm sitting here like, how do you remake a game that many times? It's insane. Yeah. Or I guess not remake, just re-release. It's like, oh man, I would go nuts. But you know, it's it's a cash cow. People people still play this game like to this day. Yeah. And you know, I I like GTA 5. I wouldn't say I'm like a huge fan of GTA 5, but. I don't know, it feels like you could definitely do more with it than just like, oh, I'll re-release it for the uh, millionth time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, this guy just I don't fucking know. leveled was... himself up. Yes, he did. He's pissed. You almost have him, though. It's really close. Just uh, uh, something <gasps> good old backslash won't do. Is this story beat time? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, oh. <laughs> oh, we saved Juju. Oh. Damn it. Were you hoping that he'd die? Juju! Sh Homestuck reference. I'm sorry. Smack your brother. He's dumb. Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. She did the funny. She did what I've wanted to do to Juju all this time. Smack him across the face for being a fucking idiot. Well, it's just that... That can't have been the oh, for time for me to take a sip of my Sprite. Yeah. Oh dang, I didn't- I should grab a soda. But also, I drank like, some Dr. Pepper before this, so I'm already kind of like, hyped up, dude. No. I took Something's a nap. Right. <laughs> I got I six I hours of sleep, and I stayed up till 3am watching Kill a Kill with a- uh, Oh shit. Shit. With uh, uh, the, our friend who's playing the gang leader in uh, no, Cyberpunk. It's not him at all. Oh, he's yeah. never seen Kill a Kill. Oh, seriously? Yeah. It's really good. Okay, but hold on one second. What the fuck? What? Well, he could talk? Yeah. White metal face scarfers. I thought you'd have to be this big scary monster. What the fuck? There's more of them? Yeah. Holy crap, this is I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dom. This is What the actual fuck? Or are you supposed to lose this fight? Uh It is a cutscene fight, basically. Yeah, is it just you're supposed to lose this fight? Yeah, you can't even hit him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming you have to just you have to get your ass handed to you. God yeah, damn, but you sucks. do have to survive for a little bit. This is kind of sick. I need to encourage Ryan to get his affinity up. We'll talk about kill a kill in a hot second. I'm so I'm I'm sorry, Dom. Didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just like I'm kind of enamored right now with what the hell's happening happening, you know? Yeah. This is wacky. Thing is I can't even charge up my Monado, uh, because I can't get any auto attacks in. Yeah. I mean, what are you... How long is this cutscene? Do you just have to be knocked down? Uh, you just... need to survive for a little bit. Oh, shit. Thanks, Charla. Thanks for the heal. Definitely doing that. Holy shit. So, Metal Face is one of them, and the other one's Mysterious Face. Who's the next face? Uh... Funny Face? <laughs> Clown Face? Oh, shit. Am I supposed to be a higher level for this? I don't know. Uh, this just seems kind of impossible. Like, you, you, it's made for you to to die. Like, this is a cutscene where you have to lose. But at the same time, I'm not entirely sure if I'm right. What the heck is going okay, on? Okay, so I just have to survive for a while. That's all you have to do. Yeah, okay. Oh sh shoot, dude. That's what happens when enemies are overleveled with you. I told you Juju's gonna get killed. Yeah, pile of junk, really you're gonna kill Juju. Game after Fiora. Oh yeah. I no I knew Juju was dead. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Juju was Juju was gonna die. Juju was slaughtered from the beginning. What Oh, I thought he like cut his foot off. I was like, oh, well, that was easy. Why can't I use the Monado? It's, it's 
only the ones that have faces. But oh. So the Minato doesn't work? Yeah. Oh no. Remember how the Monado didn't work against Metal Face? Yeah. Is is it because of the red? We'll see. <laughs> Holy shit, this is kind of an epic cutscene. It looks better since it's not on the Wii. Oh yeah, pro well, duh. It's, it's the Wii. <laughs> Oh, he's hitting you with Juju, dude. Most powerful weapon in the game. Nice oh, job, Charla. Charla's doing the thing. Oh, no. He's going to actually kill someone. Oh, oh no. Juju's dead. Charla! No. Oh, shit. Actually, though, I like Charla. She's fine. She's she's all right. Yeah. What? Well, uh. Excuse me. What? Wait. Why is his butt blue now? What? <laughs> why is he turning blue? Uh. Oh shit. I'm feeling hungry. Oh, they do eat people. Okay. That makes okay. Maybe my theory was right. <laughs> what does the blue do? I don't understand what the red and the blue it's just kinda there. Juju. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, I guess let's save here. Alright, sweet. Ah, uh, yes, and that is the end of our session. <laughs> nah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it's our only been like 20 minutes. minutes. Oh, dang. What's happening here? It's only been a year since the Battle of Sword Valley. How? How did the numbers grow so who, quickly? Who is this guy? Gatto. This funny. Are their numbers too great even for you, Gado? <laughs> Look at that guy. He looks kind of like Gandhi. Medic Shala. Whenever I think orders. of Gandhi, I can only think of Civ. You and Juju are to I made a big oopsie. <laughs> so, you know that game, oh, uh, what's it called? It's, uh, every time I think of Gandhi, I think of a horrible picture of Gandhi I had to draw for, like, it's that web browser game where you, like, draw an image and your friends guess what it was. And my word was Gandhi, and I drew the worst-looking Gandhi uh, ever. Like, it was so bad. <laughs> and someone got it, and they looked at me and just went, uh, are you okay? <laughs> Do you have issues? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm fine. It's just, I can't draw for the life of me. I can't draw either. I wish I saw the image. Promise me. Oh, I wish. Oh, bro, this is all heartfelt. Outside the colony. Right? Oh, this Just is. Make sure you get out of here alive. I feel bad. Yeah. I promise. Don't worry. Oh no. I'm not gonna die. He dies, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, cause she has his gun. Yeah, then I I fit. I think I figured this one out. Gado, a promise is a promise. And until I see you again, I will protect everyone. But you failed. No. Let <laughs> me protect everyone. Oh shit. Holy shit. Bruh. And as I thought, it's more character uh, stuff. Yeah. So, I, I assumed that Juju was going to get, like, kidnapped or killed or something. I have a feeling he's going to get killed, though. It's kind of makes sense. Uh, I mean, you have to go to Colony 6. <laughs> hey there. Are you alright? Just sleep.
Is it just daytime? <laughs> Prime. <laughs> Don't. Prime, that was not funny. <laughs> She's gonna say, where's Juju? Ah, oh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> where's Juju? <laughs> Mind if we go with you? You're gonna bust into their base, right? We want a piece of them too. Really? Truth be told, we were gonna leave without you. But the thing <laughs> is, I get roughed up a lot. Oh. Anyone else that can use ether? <laughs> we, we, you know, we're we're just kids, dude. We're just trying our best. Oh my God, how old are Shulk and Ryan? They're like. Young adults, they have to be like adults, right? I think they're 18. Like, yeah, I'm thinking like 18 to 20. They, they seem like that. I think Fiora is also 18. It's been a while. Yeah, it's just I thought, I mean, I, I just assumed that they were like adult, like, like just became adults or like, you know, around their early I'm 20s sorry. or something. Yeah, lost myself for a minute. I think Charlotte's like we can probably mid 20s. From the valley where Juju was yeah, I'd say that too. It's this way. And Juju is like, uh, he's got to be like at least three, maybe four years old. Because uh, really, has... I'd say that's stretching it a little bit. Uh, look, look, the man has baby brain. His entire colony gets wiped out, and he's sitting there like, I have to go fight by myself. And you're like, what? Why? Who, why? Why do you do this? I I know I keep ripping on Juju, but I feel like it's really justified of like how much of a dumbass he is. This plot point feels a little forced, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but then again, I've liked the story so far. Yeah. And that's like, all It was that a little matters. forced that Juju... Oh my god, I'm dying. It's a little forced that Juju, like, was like, I'm gonna be a big man. But at the same time, I I think that it was kind of stupid. At least we got to see, like, that, that other metal face dude. Excuse me, mysterious face. I think that that's kind of epic. Mysterious uh, face. <laughs> mysterious face. He's so mysterious. I actually have... Dom, we can get back to the real question. Okay. I know you're a big Paper Mario boy. Yes. Uh, I know you like your Paper Mario. How do you feel about the new Paper Mario trailer? Because I have not asked you this outside. I don't think I've asked you this at all. I've, I've got to ask you right now then. Hit me. Well, you see, about the new trailer, I'm so fucking hyped. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Look, Very positive thing so far. And, okay, for those of you in the audience that are saying, like, but it's not TTYD. Look, it can be different and it can still be fun. Uh, I'm, you, okay. I'm speaking as somebody who has played all five of the Paper Mario games so far. So, uh... <laughs> So, for those of you that are saying, my opinion isn't valid, well, uh, uh, I, I played all the Paper Mario games, and N64 was my first one. It was my first RPG, and it forced me how to learn how to read. Well, I, that is a good point. You've, you've told me before, and this is a very unpopular opinion, uh, audience members at home, that you don't like the A Thousand Year Door that much. No. Because you've told me before that you really like the original. The original has to play a the original. lot more replay value over TTYD. I'm currently going through TTYD, and I think it's I think it's a good game. It's For good what it's the worth, first time I... through. The first time I played TTYD, I loved it. Second time, though, I'm like, oh, I have to do this and this and this and that. And, like, it's more a game about activating sequence triggers than about a story. Because, like, some of the sequences really? that you have to trigger are kind of obscure in that game. Okay. I, I haven't gotten far enough where I've had any real issue. I think the combat itself is a lot of fun. Like, it is definitely one of the more fun, like, Paper Mario combats I've ever played. It's just I just N64. like the audience, honestly. <laughs> the N64 one. <laughs> It's oh, literally boy. just N64 combat, but with an audience and a few RNG elements added in. Like, it, it's nice, but it's not essential. Okay. I feel you. I mean, if you want my own uh, opinion on 
the on like the new Paper Mario coming out. I think that I'm look. I've I like Paper Mario. I started with Super Paper Mario, which is the one that everyone's very iffy about. Everyone personally, I really enjoy. I also enjoy Super, Super Paper Mario. Mario. It's really good, is isn't it? A it? Good I Paper think Mario it's great. game, not necessarily, but you don't have to look at it as a Paper Mario game. Exactly. That's that's kind of how I see it. Like I just like, see it I, as a story-based based, platformer but... with Mario. I liked it. I honestly think that despite not having like turn-based elements, I think it's still a great game. And it's probably one of my favorite Paper Marios. Honestly, which is I'd probably also rank, a really unpopular uh, opinion. I'd rank Super Paper Mario second on my list out of the five. Um, okay, if I had to make a Paper Mario tier list right now, I would say S, the best one is Paper Mario original. Then it goes Super Paper Mario, then Color Splash, then TTYD, then St Sticker Star. Whoa, whoa, all right, calm down there, sport. Holy shit. Did you say uh, Color Splash was better than Thousand Year Door? Uh, I think Color Splash and Thousand Year Door are both pretty much equal in value, like, based off, like, their own unique faults. Um, that's fair. I, I like, uh, Color Splash a lot more because the dialogue is a lot more witty. I think, okay, here's, here's my thing. Because in Color Splash, I hate the combat. It's so annoying. It's honestly, I, everyone agrees with that. Well, I, I'll extent. be the first one to admit, Color Splash combat sucks. It's not good. Yeah. But there, it, it's not good. But there are a couple battles in that game where if we didn't have the if the game didn't have those limitations on combat, it wouldn't work. Um, that's fair. If you've played at the same through time, uh, Color Splash all the way through, the battles I'm referring to is the final Bowser battle and uh, the Roy mini boss battle in Bowser's castle. So you don't get to see, like, how fun the battle system can be in certain scenarios until the last dungeon in the game. Oh, God. See, I never beat Color Splash. I got to, I mean, I, I got to a certain point, and I was like, oh, I hate the combat. Because, to be fair, for me, when it comes to a game, story is very important, right? Yeah. And also aesthetics. Like, that, that's those are pretty high up there. But if the game isn't fun, why am I playing? So it's more like... I, look, I've suffered yeah, through a lot I of games. I could argue the same thing story, about Super Paper combat. Mario. Super what? Paper Mario isn't that fun of a game to go through. Let me explain yeah, myself. Yeah, I would agree. The platforming I th I is that's... just mediocre, and the game loves to use very annoying, like, gimmicky, like, kind of uh, walls to block you from progressing unless you do this one specific thing at this one specific place. Like, See, I'm going to combat you there. Like, because uh, personally, I think that game is really good. And I think that, of course, it's, of course, there's those, it's the dumb gimmicky shit is in there. But at the same time, like, like I said, if the combat's still kind of fun. Like, the whole 3D, 2D aspect is a fun gimmick. The 3D, 2D it, aspect it's something is that you fun. Use a lot. It's unique. But it's mostly yeah, exactly. used as a key to progress. Yes, but I'm. But what I'm trying to get at is is that if the game is straight up not fun to play, like Color Splash's combat, I just kind of lose interest. And that's it's a curse for a lot of things I play, because it's like I'll, I'll start combat and I'll be like, I don't want to suffer through combat right now yeah and you know i don't know it's just kind of my own uh two cents on the whole thing i love games i've suffered through games that have bad combat but great story and i i love the story hate the combat but also like hey man i just kind of want a game that's enjoyable all around which is why i like to sit on games i know are good like okami i've been sitting on okami for months i want to play okami really bad oh trust me but i've been sitting on time... okami for a while it's been on hold like i got like i think about halfway through the game right now or like recently but then i just kind of stopped playing because like I, I don't really feel like it like okami's fun to play don't get me wrong there it has charm it's i mean it's unique it's kind of like zelda game but like that's also kind of why i stopped playing it's 
feels like a Zelda game, but with a wolf. <laughs> yeah. And I well, like I mean, me a good that's Zelda. That's just Twilight Princess. That's just Twilight Princess. I, yeah, I mean, I like me a good <laughs> Zelda saying. game, but I have to be in the very specific mood to play a Zelda game. Yeah, I, can, I feel that. I can understand this. Like, I've played through, like, uh, uh, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, uh, Majora's Mask, never Ocarina of Time, actually, even though I had it growing oh, really? up. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Now you're gonna throw me on this tirade. I really like Ocarina of Time, actually. It's, it's got its problems. <laughs> It's it's sometimes not a good game. I I can understand this. I I'm sure my the other fans understand this as well. But at the same time, good God, did it like create 3D Zelda? Like if it didn't come out, I we probably wouldn't have the Zelda we have today. And Breath of the Wild is like one of my favorite games ever. So I'm very happy with that game. Uh, yes, there are issues with it, but I still really enjoy it. Uh, and coming on the topic of Zelda games, I'm a big Zelda nerd, and there's only one game I haven't played, which is Twilight Princess. Oh, and Phantom Hourglass. Uh, but Phantom I, I don't know. Hourglass I really Phantom is Hourglass. okay. I yeah, I'm not. I'm like, not going to say it's great or anything. It. Like it's it's fine. Like it's not offensive, but like. It depends on whether you like going back to the same temple over and over again. When I was playing it as a I kid, mean, personally, I didn't mind too much because, like, oh, it's like my first portable Zelda game. Like, what am I supposed to think as a six-year-old? But you do the same as like in Spirit Tracks, though, right? You go to the tower like after every single thing. But I really like Spirit Tracks. I think that it was a whole weird premise, and it kind of worked. Like, is it just me that I think that it kind of worked? It worked for the first like, it, few it's, visits, it's so but the weird. last visit was so awful. The last yeah, visit to this. Uh, tower or uh, spirit tracks was like two hours for like when i played through it yeah it's pretty shitty i'll agree with you there but i i really really like how weird spirit tracks is literally you drive a train everywhere and if that's not dumb and kind of works i don't know what does if i ever do a let's play of spirit tracks since i have it on wii u virtual console uh, I'm just gonna have Hell every yeah. episode name be a fucking train pun. The first settlers here yes, right on top of the good. Map. Now you understand. <laughs> oh man, I, I really like Spirit Tracks though. I don't think it's my favorite Zelda game. Far from it. But I think that, uh, the weird premise of it just makes it, like, uh, uh one of my favorites. Yeah, it, it's, it's weird. weird enough to be unique. Like, literally, Zelda dies. And then, well, not quote-unquote dies, but, like... It's just you, you're essentially with uh, Ghost Zelda the entire game. And I think that's kind of like my favorite idea, where it's like Zelda is with you the entire time, and she like can help and assist you. I think it, that was really cool. Yeah. I thought that was a cool concept. That might just be me, though. Oh, no, it's a cool concept. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a big dork, uh, and I like games that really push the boundaries of like, Jump off. Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> I was very... No. I was just like, do it. Kill yourself. Jump in the ocean. Oh. Oh my god. That's a far I feel drop. like people are going to be mad at me for my Paper Mario opinions. Yeah, I think so too. Because, like, I but... feel like I didn't justify my opinions well enough. Here's the thing, though, Dom. It's your opinion, you know? Like, the... who cares, man? Yeah. If that's what you think... That's what you think. The thing I don't like about yeah. TTYD is that it uses an overabundance of hallways. I have not gotten to a point where it's like. And also, most central. of the chapters in that game have like one really bad aspect to them. Oh no. <laughs> like, uh, chapter two, it's just worse Pikmin. Chapter three, you either love it or hate it. Uh, <laughs> chapter four, like, it has a unique story plot twist but Dom, if, i'm still on chapter one yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm being vague enough so that people who have played okay. the game can understand chapter four fucking sucks gameplay wise backtracking between two and fro like play, like area a and area b like five times where uh the only way to get through them is by traveling through narrow hallways with enemies 
and you don't even have a partner at the, at certain points. Ugh. Oh, man. I wish I could commentate, but I really can't. I'm, I'm still going through the game personally. I think, for the most part, I really like the game. Uh, I, I also just kind of like JRPGs in general. What I fear the most, though, is that I'm not going to complete it, because I have so many games on the back burner that people are telling me to play. Like, I have a buddy who literally lend like he lended me a copy of a physical a physical copy of Chibi Robo. He's been telling me, dude, it's a short game and it's really good. It's one of my favorite games ever, and I just haven't gotten around to it. And I I really want to. The game looks awesome, and I played a little bit of it. I just don't know if I'll ever complete it. I really want to though. Yeah, <laughs> man. I don't know. I also gotta finish Persona 5 Royal. There's a whole bunch of shit I gotta finish. Oh, right. You're still playing Persona 5 Royal. Oh, yeah. I like it. Once again, I think I talked about this. I really like the changes that they made. But for and as I said, I'm pretty sure, like, last uh, recording session, I've been playing a lot of Terraria recently, which has not helped at all. <laughs> I Like, that game is crack cocaine once you get into it. Like, you're like, eh, you know, it's... It's Terraria. It's 2D Minecraft. Yeah. And then, but once you get into it, it's like, ah, shit. I really do like 2D Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a bit of a mess. I really do enjoy it though. Whoa. Yeah, that was an ether miasma. Uh, they're enemies, and they will uh try and attack you, but only if you use ether within their vicinity. Oh, they just kind of vibe. Yeah. Otherwise, but if you right, have so we... like a certain spellcaster girl that we'll get later, uh, oh, oh. Uh, like, or if uh, you're fighting Renee... near them and you have like them out, or like Char was using ether bullets, yeah. So let me guess if if uh, it's her name starts with M, ends with Ia, yeah. it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's a five letter word. Is that is that the person that attracts those things? <laughs> I see you're already familiar with her. Oh, don't worry, I'm very familiar with her. Uh, she's she was like part of the whole expansion thing when they were showing off the game. Uh, was it a direct that they showed off this game? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I watched directs, so <laughs> that's all I know. Air sniper. Air sniper or stealth rifle. Uh. Air Sniper has plus 5 physical defense, and... But what's what's my guy's stealth rifle? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think we're going with stealth rifle. Okay. I think I think that's what we're going for. Uh, plus Army 57 uh, auto attack, minus 2 physical defense, hmm. block rate... So it's literally just, like, Ryan, if you want to make him, like fucking uh cannon yep uh, what about steady driver oh that's all around that is an upgrade all around i would nab that yeah uh, i'm gonna equip that before i forget also please equip the stealth rifle jesus christ <laughs> that's such a good weapon yeah oh, sweet all right uh i don't know how to tell which ones i have on or which ones i don't but uh I think the little red check mark, right? On the like top right? Or top left. Oh my god. <laughs> what does that, what that did it's I even have on him? Agility up? Oh it does, it does. Okay. So I, I think I figured it out. If you if you click the uh yeah. So stealth rifle, I can show you how it works. I just realized how it works. It's very cool. Ah. There's top left there's like a blue and a red. Mm. Like E next to the like to the characters and to like the gems or whatever yeah that's how you do it that's how you figure it out. I, I i use my big brain there oh what about grand gear dom oh grand gear uh, thing is it's i'm getting better. this for the empty slot oh i see i see pelt top i guess is it uh... worth it Legar armor. Legar armor. Can Ryan equip it? Yeah, he can. Okay, it's medium. Pretty good. And then I guess Physical I'll get two of these, because I have infinite money. No, you don't. 
<laughs> You're already running kind of low. Uh, who cares? It's not going to help too Didn't much. Didn't even anyway. buy the swimsuit. Didn't even buy the swimsuit. That you'll buy two pelt tops because you feel like it. Tisk tisk dom. Doesn't even doesn't even buy the swimsuit. Why would I? Because. <laughs> because period. Do you want me to try naked Dunbin strats? Uh, once we get him. I want naked Dunbin. <laughs> I want him r to run around in the nude. I think <laughs> that'd be really, really awkward for everyone in the party. <laughs> Except for Shulk, who, like, idolizes Dunbin. He's like, yes! <laughs> Swing around some more! It's horrible. <laughs> I want- I will be quiet now. That was not good. I should have bought the arts first. Okay. So... Dumb. Uh, have you seen the PS5? Have you seen how the PS5 was introduced? Ah, uh, yes. The whole router versus refrigerator versus toaster thing. <laughs> Honestly, to be fair, I kind of like the design. Am I the only one that thinks that the design is like, all right? I mean, I, mean, it I looks think like it looks kind of sleek, but like, I, I mean, I'm not getting a PS5, so I don't really care. That's fair. I mean, I might get it in the future if Persona 6 comes out, because I'm I am now trapped in this rabbit hole called Persona. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm quarantine, gonna... but whatever. No, I'm I'm getting golden on Steam now because I'm I'm a goon. Even though I have a physical version of four that I have played, I'm going to replay it so I can play golden. Wow, I'm horrible. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> look at my boy Ryan. He be, he do be kind of stretching. Man, I was playing. Okay, so today. I, I went to a friend's house, and we were playing uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, right? Oh. And that was a good time. I, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun fighting game. Uh, but then I played Yosuke from Persona 4. I didn't realize how absolutely busted he was. Uh, he's just spammable. I didn't know how to play. I've never played that game. I just touched. I was like, I will play Yosuke. <laughs> and then I beat him. The, my friend who I was with who's played the game, I beat him like three times with him. I, I didn't realize how powerful Yosuke was. What would be <laughs> useful on Charla? Uh, not poison defense, it's dumb. Maybe... Do we have like quick step? What does that do? That just increases movement speed. Uh, uh like maybe topple over... resist. Topple resist, yeah, that would, that would actually be useful. Yeah, I'd say topple resist is the best idea. No, wait. Oh my uh, god. Oh no. Wait, she can wear the arm? <laughs> uh, no. No, not quite. I'm not going to make her make wear, her that. wear I, the I, armor. I want uh, Ryan Do to wear it. it. Oh, boo. Well, because it's more physical defense. That's true. That's true. Most, what else is there? I don't think I've seen any of our armor. Uh. Well. Trust me, she gets a lot more fan service. -y. <laughs> oh no. Oh, boy. There's I mean, like a part in the game, like coming up like in like five, six hours or so, where uh the best armor she can wear is like just a fucking like bra and Yeah. Fuck. She becomes Yoko uh from Gurren Logan. <laughs> I love that anime, dude. <laughs> oh Yoko's great. <laughs> dude, Yoko's like one of the best uh anime girls period changed my mind <laughs> well she loses her boyfriend not once but twice <laughs> what a what a gamer sorry for all the spoilers well it happens i guess in episode two is it really a spoiler episode two well, no not episode two it, it's a little it's wild. like it's a good halfway through no it's only like six okay. episodes in okay all right massive spoilers for gurren logan ahead uh, if you haven't watched it, it's my favorite anime please watch it uh, anyway, yeah, but Kamina, Kamina was, like, my boy, though. And he does do a lot for the story before he dies. Yeah. Like, he doesn't feel like it, like, oh, uh, I'm killing him because it's, because he was meant to die. Because it was, it was a surprise to me. It's not I didn't a Fiora situation. To, um, yeah, it was a Fiora situation where I was like, I really like Kamina, and I think that he's super cool. And, like, it's really cool. I like his dynamic with Simone. And then he died. Uh -huh. And then I sit there, and I go, <laughs> because I really like him. 
is I don't know. It's it's something like that, but they really do make Kamina like a a symbol for Simone, and I think that's that was really cool. Oh shit! Like the the oh shit! What is that? Is that a scout? Yeah. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! I'll come back later. <laughs> Going through the the drainage control room. You fight him. There's no way they're gonna chase me all the way up here, right? I like I like how they're gonna, just gonna go through the NPCs. Just gonna walk by, walk past them. Oh. Holy shit! Are they actually doing that? Yeah. What? <gasps> what are the NPCs doing? They just sitting there. Ah yes, robot. <laughs> <laughs> but what can they do? They're just simple merchants. The DreamWorks animated uh, film robots. Is that is that what this game is, Dom? Uh, it's just a repackaged uh, version of robots. For some the reason, movie. I thought you meant Wally for a moment. Oh, I like Wally. I I also watched a lot of robots as a kid. Not to say that it's good, but it's wall. It sure is robots. If you've ever, if you haven't watched it, watch it ironically. Oh, he just alerts them no matter what. Oh, okay. So it was. Oh, excuse me. So it was something that was had to happen. Whatever. Go to the left. Oh, there's a. I'll just fight Side them. quest to the left. Okay, I was gonna say there's there's a side quest to the left. You don't want to do that. That's not a side quest. It's not? What is that? It's, uh, is it a cutscene? It's a climbing place. Ooh. It's kind of like cramped in the... here, so... Uh... You'll be fine, probably. You know, th I really like that combat can just start anywhere. Because there's a game... I, I was watching it, I didn't play it. Uh, but it's called Indivisible. And it tries to do the same thing. But it can get real buggy and oh. not work sometimes. It's like a 2D game though, so I can see why it like would not work sometimes on a textbook. This was standpoint. kind of one of the first like action RPGs to actually start combat like where you are, because this yeah, game I came like out that. in like 2010. Cool. I want to say 10. 10. I want to say 10 also. Man, I was I was way too young to figure out how this game worked, and look at it go. What? What is this? Funny man. I didn't even know this Why game existed it? until uh, the 3DS uh, re-release. Really? I well, I knew this game existed once. Uh, Smash Bros. was like, "Hey, look, it's Shelf from uh, Xenoblade," and I went, "Who?" Yeah. Say that again. Everybody went like that, and then everybody loved Xenoblade. The end of story. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm pro Smash did Shulk real well. Also, uh, Xenoblade 2 definitely did the series real well, too. Well, yeah, because it's on for, the uh, Switch. And also White For uh, other reasons. For uh, other reasons, you know? Well, Xenoblade 2 is still a good game, but it's really hard to look past uh, the everything. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of plot. Ah. If you feel me. There's a lot of plot in Xenoblade 2. <laughs> I do want to oh, go thanks, down man. there, because that's a secret area, and it has a good, like, large ether mine, or deposit there. Are you not going to do it, though? Where are you going? No, uh, down, like, at the bottom of this uh, map. Oh, okay. Because <sighs> this is apparently a secret area. Not very secret, mind you. But wow, secret areas secret give a shit ton of EXP. That's good. Positives. Oh, crabs. Oh, Glomoss Lake. You found it. How secret. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't really want to fight any of these guys. Holy shit. They're level 20. That's stronger than the robot we found. Uh, yeah. Put Stick, stick that thing on the robot. Go get that funny monkey that, that we found in the plains. Get him to fight the robot. Jesus Christ, that funny monkey would beat the crap out of the robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why does this game not use... The funny, the funny monkey. What funny monkey? The monkey in uh, Gar Plains or whatever. The Gower Plains. Oh. Hit, I was like, I was like, haha, hit the hit the monkey, it'd be funny. And then it was like level eighty nine, and you were like, that's stronger than all the bosses in this game. And I went, oh, neat. Hit the monkey. Good thing none of these guys are oh hostile. 
It's rock. Rock crabs. <laughs> you know what I'm excited about, Dom? What? Playing... So, I've told you that I've been playing D&D recently, right? Playing what? I've been playing D&D recently, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I haven't been DMing, but I've been playing. Uh, I'm very excited for... My solo oh, session, I just went on, like, a whole rant on Cyberpunk. Oh, boy. Yeah. I mean... I mean... I didn't name the friend, but, like, I just needed to get it out. Because, like, I was still frustrated yesterday, and I, I wanted to record so I could level up the show. That is fair. I you did you did tell me uh, you were telling me about it. I can understand why you were upset. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Well, we we discussed this, but D and D truly is like my favorite game. Uh -huh. Period. And I don't think anything can top that. And that's just kind of how it will be. I, it's just one of those things. But I'm really excited for the next session that I'm going to be a part of, because my character is a lot of fun to play. Like, yeah. I I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, I want to do goofier stuff. Like, last session, there. so we're playing through, uh, I don't remember the specific module. It's the one that comes with, uh, like, the starter set of D&D, like, the Lost Minds or something. Uh, and so I'm, like, playing a super sneaky noble dude. And I, me and another party member who's, like, uh, who's essentially just, like, a massive master thief we tricked a wraith uh into giving like we had like one of our party members just talk to the wraith for way too long uh-huh and we snuck out this giant like like kind of smallish trunk of like money we weren't <laughs> supposed to do that we were supposed to ask hey could we have that but instead <laughs> i <laughs> we used thieves can't uh to talk to like to talk to each other uh while we were talking to the wraith and we, we found a way to sneak the money out without getting caught <laughs> and that was really fun <laughs> because once i ran out uh two of my party members were waiting outside and we were both just like Medic, why are you here? pull out the, your best stuff we might have to go into combat soon yeah and then we got away with it clean so that's nice <laughs> just i want to see what happens after that's very exciting yeah we have much to discuss ah uh. Uh oh. Sir. Gandhi. There's rocks in There's the way. There's so Gandhi. much story like going on intermittently. It's kind of difficult to commentate sometimes. Well, we will be fine. Yeah. We're doing it. We're surviving, right? Yeah, we are. Almost an hour in. We're doing great. Juju has been taken by the bronze face. <gasps> the bronze face. Juju. Bronze face. Metal face. What does it mean? Oh my gosh, they really do try to fan service Sharla, don't they? <laughs> you haven't seen the worst of it. Oh boy. I, I, you can't replace Fiora, though. Fiora was adorable. And I a well, yeah, but... Uh, uh, do you really want to fan service Fiora? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, I kid, I kid. I joke. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of dead. Respect the dead boys. <laughs> boys and girls, remember, this is the takeaway of today's, uh, <laughs> today's recording. Don't drop Respect porn dead. of the dead. <laughs> yes. Well, is she dead, though? Come on, not this again. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm still holding out hope. Much like how Charlotte keeps holding out hope for that one guy who... Oh, is he dead? Is he talking about how he's dead? I know if you were dead. Okay, so he's not dead. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Hey, thanks. Sorry. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Look, Ryan's, Ryan's got that dumb best friend personality. Uh, I've already... We've talked... We've discussed this. But I like it. I, I think dumb best friends... Uh, trope characters can be fun. In first episode, you were like, I don't like Ryan. I don't like- I didn't like Ryan, but now he's like- you can count uh, We've been with him for a while, yeah. you know? he grows on you. Or it's like- he, Yeah, he, he did have- He, he had to kind of grow up. It's Ryan time. I do like Ryan now. <laughs> it's Ryan- it's Ryan time. <laughs> I really wish his name was Rain, so I could say he rains down on the Mechanus. Apparently but, that's what uh, the IGN review of, of this game said. They said <laughs> Ryan. 
Rain. <laughs> rain. They said My rain and Julia or something rain. like that. <laughs> rain Shadow Legends. <laughs> this video is sponsored by. Ra oh my god, this is so important. <laughs> Don't worry, we talked over the Fiora death scene, kinda. Yeah, well, not really, because once it happened, I, I stopped in my tracks the, like the moment she died. Oh, yeah, that was Shulk's vision, by the way. Yeah, I, I assumed so. I was just reminding myself Shulk. mostly, but yeah. Shulk, you're the dumbest motherfucker. Literally tell him that he's going to die, and you change the future. <laughs>